wake-up day for them, because we are here to let them know that the vast majority of the people of this United Kingdom support us. August 1969, the disaffected Catholic population of the Bogside took to the streets to confront the Royal Ulster Constabulary in the wake of a Protestant apprentice boys' parade in the city. The violence, which was a manifestation of long-standing political grievances, was so extreme that in an unprecedented step, British troops were deployed into Derry. This decision by the British government under Prime Minister Harold Wilson was to shape the future of Northern Ireland for over 30 years. They moved straight into one of the worst hit streets on the edge of the bog side, carrying with them their ready-made barbed wire barricades and lining up in battle formation across the street where the air was foul with smoke and tear gas. The stones and petrol bombs ceased and slowly the Bogside fighters approached the newly installed barbed wire barricades. Using previously unseen archive footage, we reveal the inside story of what became known as the Battle of the Bogside. This was the scene in Derry today as a new batch of British troops arrived to take over security duties at Bogside and other strategic points in the city. 300 members of the 1st Battalion, the Queen's Regiment, from Lingfield, Surrey, came ashore from the troop landing ship Sir Tristan at the Royal Naval Maintenance Base. They brought all their own equipment, jeeps, lorries and even their own bus. An advance party under Lieutenant Colonel Charles Millman had arrived earlier in the city. Another 125 troops are due in Belfast tomorrow aboard the normal sea ferry. This will bring the number of troops in the city of the 1st Battalion, the Queen's Regiment, to 500.
Thomas Wayne that was left to grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. If I should die, think only this of me, that there's some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. There shall be, in that rich earth, a richer dust concealed, dust whom England bore, shaped and made aware, gave once her flowers to love, her ways to roam, a body of England's, breathing English air, washed by the rivers, blessed by the sons of home. And think this heart, all evil shed away, a pulse in the eternal mind, no less. Give somewhere back the thoughts by England given, her sight and sounds, dreams happy as a day, and laughter learned to friends and gentleness in hearts at peace under an English heaven. <laughs>